the world off of my back Oh, pretty soon I'm gonna crack So I gotta get the world off my back Somehow I am shooting rock tonight, guys I'm talking about contest, dude All right, 420 is a special day where people like us get together to celebrate, all right? I'm talking what are you about... Talking about? Olivia, you're out of your element. Look, man, we can't just take the day off like a bunch of stoners, man. You know, we got a show to do here, man. You what are you talking about? Stoners and taking the day off are not the issue, dude. Right? It's about celebration. 420, and by the way, Zach, stoners is not the preferred nomenclature. Find right? Americans, please. <laughs>
many different types are there? The sativa, the tall growing one, indica, the shorter, faster flowering one, ruderalis, the auto flowering one. But then within smoking, you could also say you have at least two. Someone had to have cross pollinated or made a hybrid of the two, right? A little, a marijuana mashup? Oh, Lord, yes. That's the basis of some of our finest strains, is, is taking the, the tropical high ones up to stony Indian ones and making a, a cocktail. <laughs> pipes from around the world here, Ken. Tell me about some of them. I think the Ottoman water pipe there would probably be the most hard to get. That's from the, the actual Turkish Empire back uh, before the First World War. Actually smoking this is pretty well tolerated. That one looks pretty strange, Doc. That's made out of a whale tusk. That's your meerschaum. That was uh, what classic European pipes were made of. So it's European style, but for, for a smoking edge. Right here you got cannabis plants right here on the premises? We got big, flowering, big old cannabis plants right here on the premises. Yeah, let me grab Kevin and Olivia and uh, we'll go check that out. So what's up with the lighting? Yeah, just, I, I, look look, great, I look great under fluorescent, but what is with the lights? Uh -huh. uh, well, basically they're trying to simulate the sun. They're high intensity discharge lamps, uh, high pressure sodium, which gives off a red-orange spectrum, which is better for the bug. Uh, there's ones over there which are more under a blue-white light, which is better for the young bugs. Seeds, is that, you said that's, that's your primary business? Is that Sensi Seed Bank is, yeah, the core of it. The, the museum allows us to display some stuff, but yeah, Sensi has been going a little longer than the museum, so 22 years. Can't sell the plants, they're display only. You can sell the seeds. Well, I got a marijuana <laughs> master's now, thanks a lot, huh? <laughs> marijuana master's right yeah. here. If you don't mind, I'm just going to take this, this will fit and carry on, right? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, don't. See, you got a you got, you got plant? Yeah, I got a plant. Okay, good. Uh, Thank you. All right. <laughs> right. See you tomorrow. See you. Ah, uh, yes, my friends. Hash, pot, and hemp surely make Amsterdam go round. I love it. Me too. Right now, though, let's send things over to our resident, Ed. A master of Lebowski method acting. Here is Zach Selen with some insight on how this whole 420 thing came to in the first place. Now, everybody knows if you want to get information, you call the 411. If you want a badass secret agent to save the world, you dial up 007. But not many people are aware of what 420 means and how this magical number is celebrated all over the world. So I'm here in San Rafael, California, to find out. I'm hanging out here with my main man, the wizard of weed himself, Craig X. What are we doing in this small town of San Rafael, California? We are in front of San Rafael High School, the birthplace of the 420 Nation. This is where the Waldos created 420. What does 420 actually stand for? Well, a lot of people have been confused. Some people thought it was the number of ingredients in pot. Some people thought it was a code for arresting people with pot. But it actually was a time of day that these guys met. The Waldos here at San Rafael High School planned to meet after school at the Louis Pasteur statue at 420. So they said, Louis 420. And that became the code word so their parents wouldn't know what they were up to. And what was going on at the time of the Waldos when they created the 420, you know? mythology, as they say now. It was 1976. I actually lived up here in Northern California. Everyone was dressed in red, white, and blue. The fire hydrants were painted red, white, and blue. It was a very celebratory time. The cannabis was very popular. These high school students were um, cannabis aficionados as well. So this 420 thing didn't really stay a secret for too long. It eventually spread into the town. Oh, yeah. San Rafael was loaded with stuff. This is Northern California. They even call it NorCal Bud. Beautiful. Why don't we go take a little stroll of downtown San Rafael and see what this place is all about. So what does 420 symbolize and represent in today's culture? 420 now is the international code word for pot. You can say 420 friendly in any country in the world and people know what you're talking about. What does 420 mean to you guys? Well, on April 20th, we go to the biggest rage we smoke and we're with our friends. I'm doing this since 14 and 40 years old now. What about at 4.20 in the afternoon, you guys? Partake? All right, so... Hey, so how did you first, you know, get exposed to cannabis culture? My, my best friend's father was Ringo Starr's lawyer, and he stole a joint from him, and uh, we tried it. <laughs> awesome. And now why do you continue to, you know, preach this, you know, world of legal cannabis today? Cannabis is the tree of life. It's a plant that can heal all the nations. It makes food, fuel, fiber, gasoline... We don't need to go to war in the Middle East for gas. We can grow it in Northern California. Craig, my man, thank you so much for the 420 history lesson. I wonder what time it is for Kevin and Olivia in Amsterdam right now. Dude, you know it's 420 somewhere. I'm feeling a little faded and I got the munchies. Want to go get some pizza? Thanks, Zach. Now, we have covered so much so far, but please don't lose focus and bail on us just yet. 
stay in our circle. We are passing around so much more show after this. Watch, watch, get out. <laughs> watch, watch, we'll be get back. It's the Tactical Show's 420 special. We've got even more from Amsterdam before you can go pee on someone's rug. <laughs> That's pretty quick. That is pretty quick. Watch, watch, give. Watch, watch, give. Watch, watch, give. No, watch, watch.